Hi there, Dan the Weatherman here. Hey, weather-wise, we're looking pretty good over the next several days. Going into the weekend, it's chilled out weather, but as we head into next week, a big change, a weather pattern change, that will spell some wind and some rain, very different. So this time, say next weekend, we could be looking at some very different prospects for say those morning bubble walks or just getting outside and stretching your legs. So do make the most of it. It is gonna change. And of course, throwing on the satellite with the lines, the lines in the middle levels of the atmosphere that show where the weather systems are going, you look off to the west and you see these big lumps of yellow. That's the colder, higher cloud tops. Infrared satellite image. New Zealand sitting here. This dip in the lines shows what we call a big mountain of warm air, a big upper level ridge. That means the chilled out deck chair type weather that is building across much of the country for this weekend. Make the most of that. You start seeing all these systems, of course, coming out of Australia. This first one here, that will die probably south. The upper energy will go away, but it will still be a frontal boundary that will move towards the west of the country, the far south and west, probably by late weekend bringing some rain. But it's down here where we see the Southern Ocean, the first signs of it, opening its door for business and really start working in going into next week. Wind and some rain and working our way, particularly the second half of next week as you work through. In the tropics, notice this little uh, stream of mid and high level clouds streaming off a feature that has developed. Tropical Cyclone Harold sitting just to the south of the Solomons. That will intensify to a three, maybe four category in the coming days, early next week, a heads up to Vanuatu. That should stay to our north given the steering from all of these different weather systems. So today, make the most of the outdoor weather. You want to just head outside and uh, just Enjoy it. We've got some nice looking sunshine over most of the country. There has been some morning cloud. There's been, of course, the onshore flow and a little dot of a shower or two is still likely for Gisborne. And as a week trough slides by, you've got some morning cloud, bit of drizzle for a place like Wellington, down towards Dunedin with the onshore flow. That will all burn back. You'll still have the hints of the onshore flow and this weakish feature here to the east of the North Island to go into the nighttime. So it might lap in a bit more cloud to Hawke's Bay, Gisborne into the night. Come around the flow like that, you've got maybe a weak little trough there. That's the frontal system there gathering off to the west, but it's a broad area of high pressure. And in the upper levels, remember we saw the big mountain warm air, that means the chilled out weather. Saturday, same sort of thing. The only thing would kind of adjust, notice that little surge there. That could be maybe into the night, into the morning. We could just see a few showers creep into, say, parts of Hawke's Bay, Gisborne. It's not an all day thing, just a heads up for that. We also get the hints of a little easterly flicking maybe northern Coromandel and parts of uh, eastern north and maybe even Rodney of Auckland. That may be just in the form of the odd shower. Everywhere else, bit of morning cloud, that tends to go away. And you notice the flow will start shifting around. So we'll drag a bit more cloud back in. You may get some drizzle to uh, Milford Sound. And up the west coast, we'll drag in more clouds. Certainly by the end of the day, southern parts of west and everywhere else we're fine. And notice isobar squeezing, indicating a strengthening breeze. Ahead of that, this system there, just working in, but that will just be the first surge to come through. Its energy will go away. I've talked about next week, and I say next several days, just make the most of it because just a little snapshot going into next week. You start opening the door of the Southern Ocean and it's a bit like the jack in the box. Wind it up, it comes out. That's a bit like the Southern Ocean. We are into the time when autumn and you get that temperature contrast going on. So you drag all of that stuff through. This will be a frontal boundary that'll work up from probably Sunday, Monday store. We'll have our ridge axis keeping us dry, but this is perhaps by Wednesday, Thursday, some rain. We need some rain and a cooler surge, squeeze the isobars together. That means some wind too, particularly western and exposed areas. But we'll see how that progresses, but just a heads up. Tropical cyclone, as I say, with this kind of upper level steering flow, it would probably stay to our north, but it's something, of course, we keep an eye on. So today, no problems. Looking outside, you're in fine shape. There's a little bit of early drizzle, Dunedin, and perhaps towards Wellington. That'll be gone pretty quickly. A few odd showers may still scrape their way across the Gisborne Ranges to eastern coast there. All west, you are looking fine. So fine for us today. Pretty similar, almost a ditto sort of uh, scenario for Saturday. Easterly flick gives those few odd showers there, eastern parts of Northland. And you may just pick up one or two just sneaking by, still for Gisborne, maybe parts of Hawke's Bay. And there's, of course, still some early cloud, but as our flow comes around, less so. That's some cloud that still lingers to the far south Otago and maybe Milford Sound picking up some of those showers. So the weekend looks good. We'll get some rain coming in late weekend into the far south and west of the South Island, and then we start to see things change. But in the meantime, of course, it's good looking weather for the outside, whatever it might be. Of course, we're in the lockdown. We just hang in there day by day, but at least you've got some good looking weather 
for now. That's the weather for now.